Hello, retaliating tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Apocalypse with me, Blue Ankylo. So, I was considering between episodes whether or not it might be time to send a squad through the alien portal and attack. Uh, now that we've got a few armed up retaliators and biotransports, it's probably about the right time to start doing stuff like that. And I decided I will, but I'm going to wait for one more UFO attack, whether that's one day away or one week away. I really want to give them one more chance to give us uh, some stronger UFOs because if we go to the alien dimension, destroy all the UFOs over there, then I'm going to miss out on some new tech. And there's still a, a more powerful um, aircraft to craft, like there's, there's a better vehicle, air vehicle we could build and uh, we won't be able to do that unless we find the larger uh, UFOs in our city basically. So that's kind of my plan, but we are going to start attacking them soon. Um, we're pretty much ready to go. I would rather make a little bit of shields for these two uh, biotransports, and other than that, there's probably not much to worry about. So, with that said, let's let the time go on. At the end of last episode, we were just sort of researching away. I did uh, move my guys up a little bit, so they're a little bit closer. My 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 guys, my vehicle's a little bit closer, so that they're uh, a little bit closer to the dimension gates, so we can stop the aliens, hopefully quicker. Assuming they attack us. We've successfully researched the Dimension Missile Launcher, which is perhaps the most powerful missile launcher? It's probably the most powerful. So the launcher propels devastating Dimension Missiles, which contain an immensely powerful explosive system. The missile is guided to the target and is very accurate at long ranges. The technology is reproducible and quite distinct from the organic weaponry that is used by most aliens. It is interesting when we run into not organic weaponry because somebody has some metal and crafting for these things it's suspicious suspicious to say the least so anyway that's uh a weapon that i might equip at some point maybe i don't know you can see it here it's another one of these large weapons uh you'll need a lot of uh pylons to use it and they're as large as other missiles basically um 110 damage is pretty good it doesn't do as much damage as these Vortex Mines, um, but it's more than the uh, High Explosive uh, Mini Launcher. But it is, it's is—it's more like the Marsec Launcher, where you just get one shot per ammo, which means you end up taking like one of these and you just fill up the inventory with all, as many of these things as you can find. Still no pants for uh, Ivan here. Anyway, that's another tech out of the way. And we're kind of just finishing up... Uh, some some uh, some workshop jobs. I think I'll build a couple of these. It won't take very long. I'll build maybe four for each base in case I decide to, to use them. Luckily, the Senate is happy with us and we made a little bit of money. It was not a really good week in terms of our overall progress. Um, we, we shot one of the city's buildings down and people got really mad. We spent tons of money. And honestly, the, you, the aliens didn't do much, so we didn't have a lot of points for that. So... Unfortunately, we didn't really make a whole lot extra that week. We made like, well, not much. The upkeep is, is expensive. So we, we make 120 and we spend 92. You know, that's not that great. On the plus side, the Disruptor Multibomb Launcher. The Multibomb Launcher has a short range, but splits into fast, multiple, independently targeted missiles. This makes it a deadly weapon against numerous small targets. Now, I don't know when or why this would ever be good for us. Um, like, it seems to do a lot of damage, but I'm assuming it splits into smaller, lower damage projectiles. Maybe that... I don't know. I should really test it out, because I don't know how good it is. It doesn't seem that great, uh, but, you know, maybe it's better than I, 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 better than I know. Unfortunately, we still don't have the tech for the bigger shields or the uh, cloaking device. Whatever the prerequisite is. Uh, but yeah, we could start crafting them at some point. Maybe. The uh, multi-bomb thingamajiggers. Alright, uh, another disruptor arm done. So that should be all the arms we need for everybody. So we're building a couple of these. Let's see. We've got lots of workshops. So we've got a lot of potential um, to make money, essentially. And I might need some money. We're, we're, not, we're not broke, don't get me wrong. But... Uh, see. I think I'm just gonna... 
actually, I don't know what to focus on right now. I'm just going to build some Toxic Guns for the moment, because we can sell them. I know they're relatively easy to build and uh, they're good to sell. These guys are going to make a couple uh, control systems once they're done. Just so both bases have a few of these. And then the large workshops might switch over to some of the large craft weapons that we don't have yet. But the small ones can't really do that. Alright, good. This is what we were hoping for anyway. So what do we get today? Ah, ha, ha, ha. It didn't even show up. Or did... Maybe the Dimension Gate just moved. The Dimension Gate was right there. So, we have found ourselves... A larger UFO. Good luck, team. We have a squad ready. I hope we have the firepower to take it down. In fact, I am going to save it just in case, but I'm pretty sure we'll be alright. So, uh, there's one. It'll probably have some escorts. Oh, or we'll just get another one. They seem to not necessarily follow their portals. I think the portals just moved and I didn't notice it in time. I could have rearranged some of my, uh, my uh, craft. Alright, so this is two of the same type. No, this is... Well, we have run into... I think this is type 9 and this is type 10. So this is the last two UFOs that we have not yet fought. And we'll find out which one's more difficult today. Is that it? I would like that to be it. <laughs> Alright, good luck! It's actually close enough that it's getting some free shots as we uh, get out of the base, which is a mistake, probably. Alright. These things are going to be pretty tanky. Uh, stop that. Alright, take him out, guys. Oh, wow. We're doing pretty good here. Disruptors and, and Lineage Plasma working working well. Maybe we got the jump on it. And that's why that's doing so much damage. That one's almost down. This guy, a little bit less evasive. I think this is called a mothership, actually. And this is a destroyer. Bam! Done. No pro. That was easy. Almost disappointingly easy. And it's barely doing any damage at all on its own. And that's it. It's toast. Well, I feel bad for Marsec. Sorta. Except, you know... I mean, credit where credit's due. We did just destroy two of the largest UFOs we've ever seen. Uh, without taking any real damage to our ships. Sorry for some of the collateral to the city, but I mean, come on. Look at the size of these UFOs, right? Like, if this was Independence Day, I'm pretty sure everyone would be cheering right now. I like how far it has to fly to actually crash. <laughs> it gets a little, one last little move. Alright, uh, well, looks like we've got some missions for today. Cool. Perfect, so once these two are done... Um, we'll have lots of stuff to research, and we'll probably start uh, prepping for some alien in, alien dimension attacks, actually. And if our if our air force is strong enough to shoot down these, we're pretty much ready to shoot down anything. But not in large groups. Like if there was like a whole bunch of attack ships all around them, it would. Well, we might be okay, actually. I don't know. All right. Well, let's just send everybody. We'll we'll even send the. Uh, We'll leave- oh. Do I not have enough? Hold up, hold up. I thought I had enough slots to, to basically put everybody on these things now. Still only adds up to 20. I guess I've got more than 20. Well, we'll just have to pick the, the best 20 we want to send. Because I don't want to send more than 20. Like, that's- that's no fair. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. Let's try this again. So... If you're a rookie with no real name, you're out. Bring bagel geese. I guess I just had a few uh, reserves that uh, I didn't need to bring. Well, Pyro... See, Tom Rainer is a hybrid. Is that everybody? I guess I have... Is this 20? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16. That doesn't seem right. I 
I don't know why they did not get in the ship at once. There's probably, uh, that's probably actually a bug, uh, I think. So I think what happened there was we selected more than 16 or 18, and some number like that is actually the maximum that the list will hold to transfer at once. Or not, I don't know. I don't freaking know. I know nothing. I thought I had an idea. I was wrong. Anyway, we got ourselves a couple missions. I don't know, maybe it's just a, a misclick. Misclicks would make sense. Alright, two missions. Who can get there first? New, uh, New Sorpagol or Zenobia? Go. Anytime you want to go, you can go. Looks like New Sorpagol's taking the lead. They launched... Oh yeah, they got it. So let's see what this kind of UFO looks like. This is a, one of the big, the big daddy UFOs. And it looks like we're going to have probably four squads. So we got 20 soldiers all together. That is the correct number. Pretty good. Pretty good amount, I feel. Because we're going to larger and larger UFOs, I kind of want to bring lots of soldiers. That seems, seems sensible to me. Oh, you know what? We're on a new week and I forgot to buy Marsec flying suits. For the last couple people that don't have them. I'll have to try to remember. I think... Uh... Is everyone in this group? No, there's even still a couple people here that don't have it yet. So there's three... I'm guessing probably like three people in this group are missing. Maybe four or five people are missing. Uh, but that's, that's not so bad. One, two, three, four... So they're all... They're all on the same uh, sort of axis. Uh, where is the UFO though? All right, so it's above us. <laughs> and it's so big that it basically takes up the whole map. <laughs> In fact, if I remember correctly, the only way to start this mission really is to go through the tunnel. Um, I think you basically have to tunnel inside of it. And it might be worth walking. Ah, uh, yeah. Not on turn one. This is kind of a weird map. This is the edge. I think the entrance to the UFO is going to be... I don't know. I don't know. We fly... See, the problem is... Okay, you can see the guns. You know what direction the UFO is facing. The entrances are usually on the front or the back of it. Um, but because of the way the hills are set up here, I don't know if we can even get in, like... I think it's like a pretty much firm barrier here. We can't walk through this because it's UFO everywhere. Maybe around the front. Maybe around the back. I haven't really done a whole lot of these types of UFOs, so... We gotta check for skeletoids and stuff anyway. So we can get underneath it back here. This might be the way in. Maybe. Don't want to go too much closer. Is that... No doors back here, right? Kind of what I was thinking. Alright, so the back of the UFO is blocked, I believe. Can we actually get around this way? going to take a little while for me to figure this out. It's possible. I kind of have a hunch though that the truth is we have to go through the tunnel system and come out kind of in front of it. Just fly right over. Pretty sure this will connect up somewhere over here and we can get into the UFO, I think. Might take me a couple turns to figure this out. It's an adventure, right? So I think groups two and three I'll just follow through the tunnel. Because I'm 
kind of remembering that that's probably the way in. But I will send group one up to the front just in case that works. It might work. Might be able to sneak in somewhere here by one of the damaged guns or something too. I don't know. I don't think this is going to be very promising. I think that's just going to be a dead end, but... We'll find out. Alright, I wouldn't be surprised if there's lots and lots of aliens on these giant UFOs. That's why we sent so many people, of course. But we are, like, I'm pretty confident in the ground game. In fact, I'm pretty confident in the air and the ground game right now. But we've already got so much armor and shields and weapons that, you know, I think it's okay. So, like, maybe this way, but, like, I kind of was thinking, like, what if I just shot this wall? Okay, never mind. I think this is the correct direction. Okay. That's group four. One of my group four is kind of checking out the back. I really don't think he's going to find anything, though. This is, uh... Edward Riley checking out the back of the UFO, and I'm pretty sure this is a dead end. Sorry, Edward Riley. Sent you out here for nothing, alright. The rest of them can just keep moving forward. There's no way to really fly down this corridor. This is, like... Unfortunately, if this is the only way in, and you have to spend four time, four, four turns of, like, running, it's a unfortunate that we'll probably waste a lot of stamina here. So you probably would be better off, um, that's where we're trying to get. Uh, you'd probably be better off just walking and spending, like, ten turns instead of four. Oh, oh! Schminch, or Solteraz has managed to spot into the UFO, a Skeletor. Looks like the front of the UFO is destroyed. I don't know if we'll be able to get in there, though. Okay. This is actually just very lucky. I think this wall just happened to be destroyed. But this gives us an access point that we probably normally wouldn't have. Alright, it's a little dangerous. Head on in. Good luck, Zack. This is not the entrance point I was expecting. Could be a lot of baddies in here. Try to get a couple kills if we can. Alright, two's good. And just normal gear. Okay, there was one right here. Trying to get away from us, eh? One more shot. Oh, he didn't go down. We got two kills and he almost got a third. Uh, whoops. Stop that, basically. Alright, we got more people with flying suits. So we're gonna send someone in this direction. This is KTTC. Found something else as well. What else can you see? Just Popper, pretty far away though. Oh, there's also an anthropod over there. <laughs> there's a lot of aliens in this room. Wonder if we could take a couple shots over the railing here. It's possible we'll get it. Nice shooting. Only one shot left if we're lucky. Took the shot, but didn't get the kill. Alright, we're doing alright. It's gonna be a little bit hectic. But to make sure we kill this thing. Oh. So, unfortunately, Solteraz does not yet have the flying armor. In fact, no one else does. Alright. I wasn't expecting to be able to fly in in the front of the ship, so... I wonder if uh, Sir Danny can get close enough here. Is 
Mr. Danny? Where are you? You didn't even try? Come on in here. Hello? Mr. Danny? What's going on? I don't know what his problem was. He just didn't want to fly that way. Will you please come in here? Alright, well, not... It said seven, and then now it's down to four. Well, maybe we can get a good shot here. Nope. Maybe we can get a single shot that kills it? No line of fire. And you miss... <laughs> Alright, Sir Danny. That was not particularly impressive, let's say. So we got a Skeletoid behind us. A Popper, I think, down that way. And the Anthropod. And there's probably nothing else we can do about it right now. Well, I sure hope... That's not going to be the only way into this ship. Alright. I don't know, is that a dimension launcher? That's like a brain sucker, that's not good. Popper. Uh. Alright, things aren't going terribly great. That should be okay. This guy may be getting a hard time with line of sight. Oh, come on. That's dumb. I know it was a little bit aggressive by running in there, but the fact that they had brain suckers and... Uh, the one enemy we didn't kill and get a chance to check his equipment had brain suckers. And we already lost... Well, I guess we only lost the one. So somehow, Zack was immune to it. Or somehow fought it off. But unfortunately, what was that Katie, I think? Yeah, Katie TC got brain sucked. Dang! Bad news for Katie. Alright, well, where did that other, uh. Maybe. Maybe we actually got saved by the popper. I wonder if the brain sucker was on his face when the popper exploded? That would have been pretty cool. I don't even know what happened to the other Skeletoid. Did the Popper kill it as well? Kind of strange what's going on here. Alright, um... These are really big rooms and there's lots of stuff all around us that could be ready to kill us. Uh, we can't have someone whose brain sucked though. Can't have more Poppers. So I'm sorry, Katie, but, uh, Zach, you're just gotta put you out of your misery. It's gonna be hard, uh, killing someone with Predator or Disruptor armor on. Hmm. So that's the trouble. I was trying to use the Toxigun to ignore the shield so that we could re recover the shield. But unfortunately, um, the disruptor armor was so powerful, the, the bullets didn't do enough damage. I don't know, this is wasting a lot of ammo. I've got to say, uh, Sir Danny, your, your, ac your mercy... <laughs> is not amazing in this situation. <laughs> yeah, I don't think these guys are ever going to find an entrance to the ship over here. I get the feeling they're just going to be wandering around forever outside. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they think they can find a way in or something. Alright, you're just wandering. I wish I would brought more flying suits. If I'd had those two on the inside here to help out, this would have gone better for sure. Well, we're one soldier down. Hopefully that's all. I'm thinking this will be the actual entrance to the UFO down there. And unfortunately, it just takes for friggin' ever to get there. 
I will definitely say this is like my least favorite of all the UFOs. I found a shortcut in, but uh, normally it just takes, I don't know, way too long. If I was to redo this, I would just send everybody through here walking, and it would just take, I'd probably just cut out like 10 episodes of end turning while we walk. Yeah, she's pretty powerful. Oh good, there was another brain. Dang. Cow, cow, come. Okay, this was a terrible idea. I mean, it was a good idea, but it did not work. I, I knew there'd be a lot of aliens. I just, I, I overcommitted. I shouldn't have rushed in. Everyone's gonna die. If they're not dead already. A lot of valuable gear to lose. So, somehow, Zach Nafin did not get his brain sucked either. Sadly, though, his shields are gone. Similarly, Sir Danny's shields are also gone. Well, maybe they'll come out of here somehow. We still have not dealt with uh, Katie. Hopefully that's all the poppers for the moment. Yeah, that guy did have a missile launcher. He maybe never even got a good shot, oddly enough. Okay. I'm hoping that that's like everything other than Katie. Okay, I'm sorry Katie. The time has come. Mid-air power sword battle. And thus it was Thus it was finished by Zach Nafin. Alright, I wonder what kind of gear we managed to salvage from her. Uh no shields. A little bit of ammo for your uh Actually it will be worth it to switch out the uh toxic gun because you ran out of ammo for it. Alright, alright. At least she didn't use the uh, the vortex mine, right? Okay, well, you know, maybe someone. You know, I should probably salvage some corpses. There's probably shields for these two that we can pick up off the aliens. As long as this whole room doesn't explode. Um, yeah, we're we're just three floors below finally getting into this area. All right. So there's the actual UFO entrance. Definitely the smarter way to do this mission, I'm sure. I just, just, I, I guess what bugs me is that you have to run so far across the map. And if you didn't even have, like, if you didn't have the, uh, the, the disruptor armor, um, you'd have no stamina by the time you got here every time. Okay, I still don't know exactly how these two think they're ever going to get into this room, but keep trying. Oh, they've decided that they they don't know. <laughs> they've changed their mind. They're never going to make it in here. Someone should throw them out a rope or something. Alright, so spinner's up above. That's not so bad. I mean, maybe my, uh, my Delta Force here will actually pull off a victory somehow, even though they lost two of their team. Alright, well let's see if you can find some shields. And some more aliens. Alright, so there is a, uh, anthropod up above. No shields on this guy. We could pick up some cloaking, but that's not really what I need. I'm gonna fly up and see if we can ambush this guy real quick. No problem. Uh, he probably has shields, but we can't. It says we can move over here, but I bet you he won't. Like, that was a lie. I would, uh, I, mean, I would have liked to check the guy's gear, basically, was what I was trying to do. 
the heck are you doing? Land, you fool. Some of the pathfinding is just, you know. As I'm sure I've mentioned a few times, not the best. Alright. Not close enough to check your... Actually, it's possible most of this gear was lost due to poppers, but some of it survived. I guess we're lucky that all of those didn't explode, to be honest. That one's gear was lost. That one's gear was lost. Alright, so there's no shields that survived because everything got blown up by poppers. That's too bad. This was the one with the, uh, the brain sucker launcher, I guess. So it's, it's possible if there are any shields, this one might have it. Uh, I think that the easiest way to get in there is going to be to try to shoot a hole in this wall, if we can do that. I'm not sure if you can blow up in those walls or not. You can probably break open these, so if we fly up and shoot a hole here, we'll be able to get up. Honestly, these guys are just going to kind of chillax, though. Like, honestly, it's the, uh, the main army that's coming in that's going to do the work. Oh good, we found one of those. Uh, okay, we're gonna head up with uh, 35 time units. That should be fine. Honestly, these things are not usually the problem. Uses a lot of ammo, I guess. But there you go, no problem. And we spot another one above us. And a popper. And something else shooting as well. There's a lot of enemies in this in this elevator. Alright, so that was a really good start. Taylor got a, one of the behemoths dealt with and killed a popper on the way, so... Glad to see that. Let's send Apollo Turtle's ghost in. Let's see if we can get... Uh, Another one dealt with here. That was kind of a mistake. We can see four enemies from here. Okay. Anthropod, 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 er, Popper. Maybe. One way or the other is dead is dead. Just shoot him in the feet. Come on. Come on. Okay. This is working out great! You know, the sound effect we heard probably tells me that there's another, uh, whatever those big ones are called, uh, the behemoth-y type things. We just haven't seen it yet, but I think one of our stray projectiles hit it. Alright. <laughs> is anyone else fast enough to get up there? Probably. The fact that we've got people with 83 time units and actually no stamina, that's disappointing. So John Rico, you really should be flying here so you can move faster. You- Oh! That's why you're out of stamina, you had to run the whole way. Well that was a complete waste. I was so excited about someone with lots of time units that uh, didn't realize that they were out of juice. Alright, there we go. That's what happens when you've still got stamina. Alright, let's head up a little closer. Let's try to take these out. These are the enemies that are like... The most threat to the Alpha, the, the Delta Squad, I guess. Alright, let's check for Brain Suckers. Oh, that's not good at all. <laughs> that's really bad. We don't have enough time units. Yeah. Oh, crap. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get enough backup here. This whole mission has been a gong show. <laughs> I want to finish up the last couple anthropods that we know about. So we've stopped, hopefully, 
See, look at this. How did we not see this thing? It was right beside us. I had a feeling there'd be another one of these around somewhere. <laughs> there's some bugs with line of sight for them. We basically walked right past it, and there's this giant cyclops in the room that we couldn't see. Uh, alright. Tell me you can fly. Not giving up yet. First off, we gotta kill this thing. So, line of sight bugs also include not being able to shoot it, even though you should. You can force the issue by shooting through it. There, good enough. We figured it out. Alright, dead. So, the brain sucker pods that I'm most worried about... Is there anything down here that fell to the bottom? Yes, but no brain sucker pods, so that's a plus. So then the dangerous floor is really... These tiles specifically. It's those three there. So either pick them up if we can, or set up somebody who's got some time units uh, to overwatch. So like, for instance, with six shots, it's possible that Panda will kill them as they hatch. Maybe. Maybe we can get someone like Big Smoke in there. We can pick up two of them. No, we're not going to be able to pick up two of them. Because Pathfinding decided to go the wrong way. Let me pick up one of them. Fine. That's one less that can hatch. And make sure he's got some sort of reaction shot. Maybe we... I don't know. Maybe we can do this. I think 80 is our best bet. I just have to... I have to micromanage the elevator a little bit better. That's right. It's because... There's a lot of people that could block the way. And this might be enough. Alright, I think we got it here. Alright, all... All brain sucker pods, I believe, have been picked up. And I'll just try to rush in more people for the future. We may be done the most difficult part. Anybody else hanging around out here? If you're much further back, you're never gonna make it in time, so don't worry about it. Yeah, this is uh, this has been a bit of a, a messy f mission. Ah, don't worry about it. You guys are never gonna make it. Okay, if those two are panicking, we might be basically done. We've killed a lot of aliens. We lost Katie. I'll have to download her conscious. We lost blanket. I don't even know where that one came from. We had to try to rush in and save everybody. I didn't really have any other choices. Two agents down sucks. Two skilled, trained for the last month agents is really, really brutal. But, uh... I, I don't even know where that one came from. Because if you died in the elevator, your possessions should have all fallen down to the bottom of the elevator. If you died beside the elevator, I should have been able to see it. And I checked here, so... I don't know. I checked that corpse. Maybe there was, like, another one right outside this wall? Well, neither of these guys should have had access to brain sucker pods. Alright. I'm gonna go deal with our brain-sucked friend here in a minute. 
just want to have a look around up here first. There's quite a few areas in this section that could have enemies. Obviously. So this floor is access to these little mini elevators that takes you to these little uh, walkways. And it's just below that room. Any other parts of the ship that we need to sort of explain? I haven't really been in that area. This is probably the engine. And it's probably empty. Looks like we're probably okay here. Okay, so the majority of the rest of the map is going to be on this floor, because there's quite a lot of areas on this side to check out. And there might even be another floor above us, actually. This is, like, such a huge UFO to explore. I definitely messed it up. Alright, yeah, we're going to deal with... We're going to deal with our friend, unfortunately. Um... I think it's just too hard to do damage through Predator armor with the Toxic and it just wastes too much ammo, so I'll just destroy the shields on uh, Blanket and make sure we get the kill. And you can see how sturdy this stuff is, like... It is a testament to engineering how hard it is to kill someone with uh, pr uh, Disruptor armor not equipped. And that'll do it. Well, I'm sorry, Katie and Blanket. At least we get your armor back, by the looks of things. Um, I wonder if the brain sucker came from up, up here. This is like ammo and stuff. I think it's actually like a fairly small floor, if I remember correctly. Well, I don't see any aliens close, so... If this is where they came from, that seems a bit unlikely. We'll finish exploring this level next turn. Two should be more than enough. What we really want is going to be a whole bunch of agents on this floor. That's where I'm going to funnel a bunch of people. Maybe check behind here. The, uh, probably the most difficult spot is actually just seeing the, um... Whatchamacallit. Just just spotting the uh, the behemothy, the big giant guys. That's the hard part. They blend in. Well, I guess for all it is, two dead agents isn't the worst thing that could have happened. I'm a little bit discouraged, obviously, and I do apologize for those of you who've been watching so long and saw two of your potential favorites die. But, uh... I wish I hadn't gone so fast, basically. Instead of, like, I, I got kind of excited. I'm like, yeah, cool, a secret entrance. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, don't don't do that. Just go, just go the slow way. Send everybody through the bottom. It'll take forever, but uh, hold on. Uh, can we just change? I want you to stop moving. Ah, I didn't. <laughs> the auto end turn wouldn't let me control. I just want them to stop taking over my my um, screen. Uh, so we did get a spot. We saw one more alien. Again, this could be the last one, so we'll start here. This is kind of their wings, and you can kind of see some of their weapon systems over here. I've definitely found aliens hiding in these corners before. But it did not end yet. All right. I've sort of forgotten about these two. Although I wouldn't say forgotten, just... I didn't want to move them in yet. Uh, the thing is, though, I might be able to find them some uh, shields if I look around through the bodies. We killed quite a few uh, anthropods around here, so theoretically we might find some shields. Probably laying down here on the bottom. Yeah, we can go down there and pick them up each a shield. That'll help a little bit. 
Alright, so the most likely culprit for alien activity will be somewhere around here. We'll send a couple agents. Double check these little hallways too. Start clearing these halls. Honestly, I'm just gonna leave a couple posted on each floor. Just like usual, just leave a couple people guarding basically. And then the top floor, we haven't really explored much. But, in my experience, there's rarely much up here, so I'm not expecting too much. I think I've seen some enemies in one of these rooms once or twice, but most of the time there's nothing at the top level. It's generally on this floor. Alright, so we'll preserve lots of time units in case another brain sucker. Stop. Just go there and take a chill. Good. Sure. Alright, what's left? There can't be much. After all that excitement, things are starting to calm down. Yeah, calm. Alright, good reactions. Probably the new blanket. And that was it. There was just... I guess there was maybe just a pod of brain suckers just cruising around and one of them managed to get blanket. That sucks. Oh well. It's nice to know that the aliens can still put up a fight. If it wasn't for the brain suckers, there's not much they can do that can hurt us. You know, the poppers do some damage, the dimension missiles do a bit of damage. But they have a very hard time killing anybody. The fact that they've got brain suckers that can stealthily ambush you and still one-shot people. That's definitely the worst part of these missions. Again, with the crazy after-battle flickering. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Maybe I changed a setting somewhere and... When I was trying to fix the, uh, the crash where I couldn't continue. Anyway, I need to end the episode here. Uh, the good news is, uh... Other than the deaths, you know, um, other than all the death, um, we did win, so we get uh, another UFO to study. And before I forget about it, right now, I'm going to buy two new soldiers, if I can find them. That's a hybrid, that's a hybrid with pretty good stats though, actually. That's not bad. Um, but uh, no, I want humans, so we'll buy Anatoly and uh nikolai that'll replace our two dead soldiers and then i'll i'll resurrect a couple in between episodes uh for some new names for some of the current rookies because we've got spares that's the point of them right we got these extras they're not red shirts they're conscious downloads <laughs> consciousness downloads all right folks Ooh, yeah, I definitely need a break after that. Okay, next giant UFO mission, I'm going to not split the team up so much. So it might be a little bit more boring at the beginning. <laughs> but I'll try to keep everybody alive by not sending them in through the front door. Wow, oh, that wasn't even the front door. That was like, flew in through the side window and they were ready for us. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. <laughs> I'm glad for some new types of UFOs, so that's great. We can start moving towards the end game here pretty quick. And, uh... Start wrapping things up. Not that I want to end things soon, but, you know, I don't want it to be stale. So see you next time, and have a great day.